Hi everyone! Welcome to this episode of Catching Up with Yoseka Stationery. So, so casual. casual. We are keeping up on the holidays and really excited about them. And as you all can see, Ashley has returned. She is back. She's looking good. Yes. You're feeling good. How are yes. you feeling? I am feeling good girl. Yes. What does that mean? I don't know why that popped into my head, but oh. I was like, that's that describes how I feel right now. So, oh, yeah. That's I, good. I am feeling much better Yay. after my little operation. So thank you to anyone who was worried for me, but you don't have to worry anymore. I know I like talked about my health earlier this year, and yes, this is related to the same thing, but now Hopefully, Hopefully, I'm closing that chapter of my life. Yes. And I am feeling much Say better. Bye bye. Yeah. <laughs> so, thank you to everyone who has <laughs> followed my health and wished me well for that time. Yay. Thank it's you so perfect much. timing, too, because it's like a new year soon, new yeah. planner. New year, Everything, new me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So hopefully it will be a much better year ahead for you, personally at least. Yeah, I feel like it's been fun. It's been a fun year at Yoseka for sure. All right, well this past week at Yoseka, we have just been uh, super busy. Yeah. It has been um, quite a ride. We've just been getting lots of orders from everyone, which thank you so much. Um, and every day we come in and usually it's a question of like, oh, what are we gonna do at the end of the day? But these days it's just like, okay, so we're just gonna work on all of these orders. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, but it's been, it's been really great. I can tell that everybody is doing their holiday shopping and I love to see whenever somebody orders something that I put on like our holiday gift guide mm -hmm. or something that we talked about recently because there are a lot of things that I'm like just actually huge fan of like that password book I yes. whenever I use mine whenever I reach for mine I'm just like oh, I'm so glad <laughs> I'm so glad and then whenever somebody like orders it I'm like this is gonna this is gonna, gonna be a good love thing. This. you're going to love it like I know I know it's needed mm -hmm. so um, there are things that we truly believe in and I'm glad that you are ordering them and uh, going to be giving them as presents to your loved ones these holidays mm-hmm yeah, we were able to add some new stationery this week, so we're really excited to share with everyone our newly added stationery. And I guess we'll just like dive right in. Yeah. Right? Where do you want to start? I'll start on my side. Okay. We, for like the past few weeks, as you mentioned, we have been working on some more bigger collections, and one of those is Ferris Wheel Press. Ferris Wheel Press! We added some new collections from them. Look at these pretty bottles! They're so pretty! They're I love so the pretty. packaging. Oh, oh my god, just the, just the color of the box alone. Yeah. I'm like, I want to know what that ink color writes like. Yeah. You know? Like, is it actually that shiny? Right. That, like, wonderful, yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, but Ferris Wheel Press is a Canadian brand, and a lot of people have, like, been talking about them. I feel like in the store I hear about them sometimes. People are like, people well, ask us about them Ferris all the Press. time. Well, here they are. <laughs> they are here. We finally have them. For a long time, um, we were just like, oh, maybe it's not the right time to add them. Um, but enough of you all asked, and we listened. And you know what? They're gorgeous. So I get, yeah. I get it. <laughs> so the the packaging itself is like yeah, so beautiful. And yes. they come in these really cute like round little bottles, right? Yeah, maybe I can show one yeah. of the bottles. The bottles are so cute. And like the packaging protects it so well too. So well that I can't get it out. Oh. <laughs> really in there. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't that hard. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, but there is like this flap here. Okay, mm -hmm. I see. Oh my god, wait, I like just seeing this bottle like in person because I've seen pictures of it, but actually I didn't realize it was this small. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh it my god, so this is my hand and there's the bottle. 
It's like a little ornament. Like, or like a little potion. Oh like a my little god, it is elixir. like a little potion. That's a good, actually, I feel like that's what they're going for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is so cute. I didn't realize how small it was. And this one is a shimmer ink, so there are shimmer particles on there. And there's a lot of shimmer inks in um, that we see from Ferris Wheel Press. So that is one of their bottles, this little like globe-shaped bottles. And then um, they also have these ones uh, from different series, but these bottles and this packaging is also so, so pretty. And Ferris Wheel Press, we are adding a lot of ink colors from them. Um, so we just grabbed like a few of them for this for this uh, catching up, but be sure to check out the website if you want like a better sense of their whole collection. Um, but this is another one of their like commonly um, their popular ink bottles and it has this unique shape mm -hmm. um, and I believe that this shape is inspired by a what is it called a pocket watch mm. like a pocket watch yeah mm. yeah so that's why it has this like very um, circular yet flat shape and I was concerned about actually the practicality of these because mm -hmm. it, like when I had seen pictures of these, I thought they might tilt over yeah. a lot because mm -hmm. they are this shape. But I think, I think they stand pretty well. I think they'll be okay. I don't know. Um, well, we'll have to see because yeah. I do have my opinions on ink bottle shapes. <laughs> um, but yeah. These are super pretty. We're excited to swatch them out. That's gonna be a big project in itself, like 50 colors to swatch out. So probably um, look out for those in the new year. <laughs> we also have in front of me, we have new Bondé. Oh, yeah. Sticker rolls. Yeah. And these that I'm holding here are ones that are inspired by like Japanese, um, motifs or yeah. I guess that's what I would call it. There's Japanese candies. There's also some like auspicious motifs mm -hmm. in some of their other rolls. Like you can see, I'll show a close up of this one. These are some patterns that you see a lot in Japanese culture. And this whole roll has like that so many. That one is so pretty. I nice. like that one a lot. Yeah, cutouts. I feel like they're a good minimal but yet intricate design. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I have these larger rolls in front of me here with bigger packaging and that's actually because they come with two rolls. So these are like the Language of Flowers new collection from Bondé and with each of these packages you actually get a roll of Bondé and you also get like a thin roll of regular washi tape. So I'll show you guys what I mean. So these are the, these are some of the Language of Flowers Bondé rolls which have the Bondé uh, roll of individual stickers there and then you do get like just the regular roll of washi tape there um, and the poppy one might be my favorite so I'll just unroll that one. I love Bondé because they send us samples. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's like yeah. so nice of them. Um, and these are these are the poppy ones. I love poppies. I love that bright red color. I think it's like a really good color for the holidays. And that is the matching washi tape roll. Thank you for the assist, actually. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Um, and the way Bondé works is you just peel off the individual. Next up, we have some new pens from Le Bon. I feel like we don't talk about Le Bon as much, but they're a Taiwanese um, company, and these are here on our lovely on our tray. pen tray. Yeah, I'm like holding it so wobbly, <laughs> <laughs> but they're from two different collections. I'll show them closer up under the camera. So pretty. That one is so good for Christmas. Mm -hmm. So this one here is the Le Bon Rosa lilac so it's got obviously these very pretty lilac resin like marbling turquoise. i love that one like, tor tor tortoise tortoise, tortoise. <laughs> the tortoise pattern in the lilac color and it's supposed to be reminiscent of spring which i really see from this it's so pretty yeah. i love it and it's like a really pretty bicolor steel mm. knit though mm. so that is this one from Le Bon. And then for their other collection, you can see these are 
very vintage looking and these are their antique pens. This one has really, this one has really nice metal like age. Yeah, detailing. like antique, antique, like patina that you already get. A lot of the times like we have to wait for pens to get like that, but this one just comes like it that. Comes like that, <laughs> already ready. It looks like it's actually vintage, yes. which is cool. Um, and then this one is also in the antique collection and this one is the antique red color. So it has like brass, um, the pen itself is brass and then it has sort of like brassing red stripes over it, which I love, I love the way it looks when you're twisting it in the light and I just think it's such an elegant looking fountain pen. A great, a great gift. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And a, a like hidden mechanism of this that I think is really cool is the clip actually moves a little bit so you can oh, actually clip it on. I didn't see it that. It looks really rigid, but if you, oh. can, if you take a closer look here, you can see that it actually, there's a space for it to move. That's a new one. I yeah, haven't seen it I like that. Like that's very cool. I, some of the Lamy pens are spring loaded like mm -hmm. that, like mm -hmm. the Lamy 2000, I think, and the CP1. Mm -hmm. But that one is like a unique one that I haven't seen before. Cool. Yeah. yeah. So what else do we have here? Um, so just moving along in front of us on the table, the next thing I see is our new Ink Institute uh, inks. These are part of the Meander series, and I think a lot of you guys have been waiting a long time for them because they're really pretty colors from Ink Institute. And it's actually a continuation, it's four different colors. These are a continuation of their exotic series, but they've sort of renamed it to be the Meander series. And these are all inspired by sort of like different, um, exotic flowers and fauna from around the world. A lot of them are from Taiwan, from Asia, and then there's one that's like Mexican hens from Mexico, obviously. <laughs> um, so I'll show you all a close up of the swatches because they're really pretty. Yeah, these are really nice. So here we have the Ink Institute Electric Blue Spider Lily, and this one is inspired by a spider lily that is native to the eastern China coastline. And then this one is the Sea Bold Lily, and where is that one from, Ashley? It's from the shoreland of China also. Oh, okay. And, but something about this one that's cool is they thought it was extinct for many years until it was rediscovered after a fire. Whoa! Yeah, so that's something cool about this one. I don't know that. Okay. <laughs> um, and then this one is the Ping Tung Clematis, and this one is inspired by, and the, the artwork on these bottles is also really beautiful, so you do get like an illustration of the flower itself, and this one is inspired by a flower from Taiwan. Um, and then we have the most interesting color to me. Mm -hmm. This is the Mexican Hens, which is a succulent that is found in northeastern Mexico. And I just love this sort of grayish purple uh, mm -hmm. sort of color. Very muted. Yeah. I feel like ooh, this is hmm, perhaps a new winter color for me. <laughs> this is a good. This is a good color. We've had a lot of reactions about this color, so I think this one will be popular. And. Um, I'm sure we'll do ink samples of these very soon for anybody who's wondering and wants to try them out as well. Those are the new Ink Institute Meander inks. Very nice. Yeah. We have a couple more things on my side of the table over here. I'm really excited to talk about these, this little set over here. So actually, um, back in October of this year, Stalogy celebrated their 10-year anniversary. So Stalogy has, they have been making these like really popular editor series notebooks for 10 years now, I guess. Mm -hmm. And um, they, for, to celebrate their 10-year anniversary, they put together these sets, which come in these really pretty boxes. Yeah, I love boxes. I love these boxes. They're so nice. Like I look forward to using this one for storage of other things <laughs> after this. Um, <clears throat> and they have on the boxes, they have like this really nice lettering for celebrating the 10 year anniversary of Stology. They have like the Stology branding over here and then they have Stology's um, 
what is this called? Like a tag slogan. Line. Slogan, yeah. What should have been is. Um, and then inside, this, this box is. This box is empty because <laughs> this box is empty because it's actually um, supposed to have these things inside. But you get a Stology A5 Editor Series notebook with that special 10-year anniversary with that special 10-year anniversary embossing on the back. You get a sticky memo set over here with just like plain paper and then um, it's perforated with like the Stology paper and you get a ballpoint pen, the low viscosity oil-based ballpoint pen, which is a really good it's pen. Really good. Yeah, this is a really good pen for anybody who's like not interested in all this, but they just want a really good pen and a, ball, a ballpoint pen. This is a great Excellent. pen. It feels very smooth. It's great. It's good. Um, so that set, and then that this is like a never before and seen, never before seen Stology product. This is like a closure band that um, you loop around your notebook, and it has this little pen loop for you to put your pen into. So this is the set that you get. It's a gift set, obviously, but obviously you can get it for yourself as yeah. well. And it comes in Stology's like signature colors, this bright red, the black, blue, and yellow mm -hmm. as well. So you can take a pick and see like what your color is. I think we got more of the black because the black tends to be the most popular color. Mm -hmm. People love that like Stology black Sleek. cover. Yeah, because yeah, it can be like a professional notebook too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm really excited about these. We'll have these in store uh, for anybody who's planning on coming and making a visit. Very, very nice. Yeah. Oh, and sorry, before we move on, <laughs> I've been getting a lot of questions from people now that we're talking about the Stology 10 year anniversary about our Stology notebook. Oh. Um, because we did like sort of show that mm -hmm. and then we like didn't talk about it ever again for the next few months. So people are like, wait, did that happen? Was I did imagining I it? It? <laughs> um, it is happening. We are actually making our own version of Stology notebook with a green cover on it. And um, we're making a large amount of them for anyone who's curious. So, um, you know, look out for it. It'll probably be like towards the new year. So that is happening. You didn't imagine it. It wasn't <laughs> a dream. It is reality. Um, yeah. Okay, and then next up we have the Hobby Stationery Box Volume 64 magazine. This is a quarterly magazine that's released um, from Japan. It's in Japanese. We talk about this every few episodes because it's quarterly. And, um, you know, for anybody who's like loving stationery, it's not just Japanese stationery, they do like a uh, what is it called? Very like comprehensive. Thank you! That's yeah. exactly the word I was looking for. It's a comprehensive look at like a lot of the new stationery that is released throughout the world. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the European brands are included in this, the American brands are included in this. I remember they did like a big thing on Ferris Wheel Press when they were getting a lot of buzz. Um, so this issue, they always have like a special, like a what is the word? Like a focus of all the issues. And this one is inks. And they've done a lot of inks before. Um, they have their ink guides, which we really love and appreciate. But this one is a continuation of more inks, looking at inks that are new, that were released recently. And they do this, which is really interesting. Ashley and I were talking about this before in this uh, edition they have they recommend different sort of seasonal inks that are inspired by the season so there's the spring colors there's summer colors and you can see for the summer colors they have things like Kaveco summer purple um, and they have autumn colors which are obviously featuring a lot of like oranges and browns and they have colors um, like and they have the winter colors which feature a lot of like um, sort of from nature different things that are found during winter so fuyu means winter in Japanese so they have a lot of like these Iroshizuku inks that are like fuyu 
for you gawky. We have like poinsettia. 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 I almost said it really weirdly. Poinsettia, they have like Christmas rose, so other things that are also very seasonal for the winter, which is like so cool mm -hmm. to see that there are these different colors. Mm -hmm. Like what color do you associate with the season mm -hmm. and like how the different ink brands have interpreted it. Because I think it's true that when it's a different season, I'm in the mood for different ink colors. Mm -hmm. It's so true. So mm -hmm. the fact that they thought of this is is very helpful, <laughs> I think. Yeah. Um, and then it's just a great magazine for even if you don't read Japanese, um, for people who just like to look at the pretty pictures and who mm -hmm. love stationery. Um, and I talked to somebody earlier this week who actually got like an issue of this uh, magazine from us like a year ago. And she was, she's been using it to like study Japanese too. Oh, but she hasn't made it very way. far because it's, it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's a very like hefty, they pack a lot into yeah, here. So it's too. pretty dense magazine mm -hmm. reading. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We also have this like, if you come to the store and you just want to read it, mm -hmm. we have, we have copies of this in the store, so you can always ask to just look at it, and we're more than happy to obviously let you do that. Love this. Mm -hmm. All right, I think that's about it for the newly added stationery this week. Mm -hmm. Other than that, how has your week been, Ashley? My week has been a little bit more mellow. You for know, sure, I yeah. Was, I was missing a couple days MIA from here, mm -hmm. so I was forced around for a little while. Yeah. Um, you may have caught me more recently in the storefront, but for last week I was not there, so not not too much to say on my end, a little bit more mellow, but how about you? How's the, the storefront been while well, I've been gone? <laughs> yeah, well I guess I do wanna say like, if you see Ashley in the storefront and she's just like sort of chilling behind the ink bar and she's not coming to say hi, it's probably cause she's, she needs to stay in put yes. right now. Yes, I'm um, <laughs> conserving my energy like, as much as possible. Why is Ashley waving for me from 10 feet away? <laughs> um, that's, pro that's probably why, but um, my, my my week has been good in the store. It's been so busy. We had probably one of our busiest weekends yet in the store and I mm -hmm. feel bad because I know a lot of people who were visiting did come by, but I didn't have a ton of time to chat with mm -hmm. them. But I did get to meet Diana, who's a good customer of ours from Houston. Oh, did you talk to her? No, I didn't. But oh, I, no? I just recognized the name because I noticed oh, everyone who's from Houston. From Houston yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm from Houston. Right, exactly. <laughs> you know all of our customers from Houston. I That's do. so funny. Um, but yeah, I got to meet her. She shopped very quietly in our store because it was crowded. Um, and she was very like independent about shopping in our store. And then when she had was already like ready to go, she saw me by the door and she came and just said hi. And I really appreciate that you did that, Diana. I really, really am glad that you did. Um, so thank you so much for visiting us. I, I've been apologizing to people all weekend because I'm like, I'm sorry you chose such a chaotic like day to come to the store. It was really insane. We had a holiday market going on upstairs mm -hmm. from Yoseka where um, a lot of like independent artists and stuff uh, were just like selling stuff for their for holidays and I think it drew in huge crowds so we had the a crowds, really the red lines yeah the red lines it was raining people were waiting the rain out in our store um, which is all good it was just really busy so yeah. I'm sorry if I did see you this weekend and I didn't quite say hi I might not have actually seen you but that's why I always appreciate when you come up and say hi to me so do that thank you Diana for coming for making time for us on your work trip in New York and it was great to meet you I hope to see you again soon if not I'll write to you soon in one of your orders <laughs> yeah I think that's about it, right, Ashley? Yeah, that's it. Okay, all right, everybody. Well, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.